Hey guys, today's tutorial is going to be on how to make a pentagonal decahedron. Uh, so the first step is to get a, a, your strand of balls going. And uh, what you do is you take uh, five and make them into a pentagon like that and then wrap it around three times. Uh, so three layers like that. So here's one layer and as you can see it's two rows. Let's so wrap around once more, just like that, and basically we're going to be making 12 of these. Um, the only thing that you have to watch out for with these pentagons is uh, the polarity, because we want them to connect par uh, parallel to each other, and I'll show you in a second what that means. Uh, for you more experienced buckyball builders, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So here, make exactly the same thing again. So five, and then wrap around three times. Okay, so perfect. And now, what I mean by parallel is you wanna have these connect. Nope, see, this is wrong connection. It's not parallel, the balls uh, connect at a 90 degree angle. So what you wanna do in that case is you wanna take um, your little pentagonal uh, I guess cup or dip and you want to push on it until it reforms this way this is kind of a little trick you can use and you want to put it like that so this is a parallel connection as you can see these align perfectly ball to ball so you can set these aside like that and we're gonna make some more of these if you want you guys can skip this part of the video where I'm gonna be making some more of these. And yeah, I have to flip this one over, so we'll just push it straight through, perfect. And it should connect like that. And you guys can start building them into the shape that I'm building them into. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna go at a faster pace now since I showed you how to make these in the beginning. Okay, so most likely I'll have, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to flip all of these over. Okay, so perfect, like that. And we're gonna be making 12 of these, hence it's called the pentagonal decahedron. this one how interesting okay so okay so here we go okay so here you have this shape um kind of like a little flower, what you want to do is you want to take six buckyballs and you're going to place a buckyball on each hole to fill it in and make a sharp vertice at the end of the pentagonal cup or dip, I'm not really sure what to call the shape. Uh, okay, so perfect. So you have that and the next step uh, is pretty easy. All you're gonna do is lift one up and then lift the second one up and have them connect like that. You're gonna hold them up, connect this one like this. And it should be pretty easy at this point. And just do that and then finish this part. Perfect, so now you should have something that looks like that. You're gonna put this to the side um, and continue making your uh, shape you're gonna this is halfway there we're gonna make uh, two of these in the end so six more okay, and... okay 
got a little clump. Okay, so here we go. Uh, that's one. And I'm just gonna check real quick the polarity on this one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to flip this one over. Okay, so perfect. This is uh, like a pretty simple ball. It just looks really, really cool. And then when you finish it, uh, and when you can set it somewhere, like on your counter or somewhere on your, I mean, maybe your office desk, it looks really, really nice. That's the main reason why I like this thing. Okay, so here's that. These will connect, but these won't. So, you can place one more on here, like, like that, but just make sure you take one buckyball and put it into the hole right here so that you have the, um, the pointy tip. And this you can also place if it works and then do the same thing at the tip. And then I don't know if this one will work. Yeah, it should not work, so just I'm gonna flip this one over and look at that, it failed. Let's see if I can try and create this shape. I don't know where, probably not, but it's worth a try. Mm. Oh, perfect. It worked. Okay, so I'm gonna check the polarity. Okay, perfect. So continue making these. And I know that this part of the process can get a little tedious so you guys can skip whenever you want to. Here we go. So you're gonna make your last one right here. And boom, 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 boom. And then all of these will be left for the tips. Here, I'm gonna put this on my tripod. Okay, so you want, yeah. These are, I am gonna have to flip the polarity on all of these except this one, wow, it's kind of surprising. So I'm gonna have to flip these two right here. Just gonna quickly push it through. Perfect, now same thing with this one. And it doesn't quite work. Okay, perfect. So now we have four of these and I'm just gonna put a uh, one ball to make the tip so that it looks better in the end. And here we go. Okay, perfect. So now is the final step. Uh, it should be pretty easy. So you take it and you put it and it should be perfectly even like that. And then make sure every ball connects together. And uh, just add them like that. It should be ease peas. Um, Make sure that every ball is connected so that it's uh, the strongest possible bond that this can have. So here we are. Here's the final product. Um, looks it looks really cool. So that's the thing I like about it. Um, it's not very hard or sturdy. So if you like squish it, uh, like a l even a little bit, it'll bend. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions, please drop me a comment. 
I hope you guys have a good day and until the next video, peace out.